For 10 years now, the world's largest model railway can be found in Hamburg's historic warehouse district, a mammoth miniature project. It took 500,000 working hours to create this incredible miniature world on 1,300 square meters. The city's most popular tourist attraction fascinates over 1 million people a year, and it's continually growing. Eight different sections, connected by 13 kilometers of track installation, provide an unforgettable experience for all ages. Tons of steel, wood and plaster form the foundation of this extraordinary exhibition. The journey leads through Scandinavia to Germany, from Austria to Switzerland and far away to America in just a few moments. Each day, 900 trains with 12,000 wagons travel a distance of several hundred kilometers. The longest train is 14.51 meters long. On the North East Sea, with a water capacity of 30,000 liters, large and small ships are cruising. In Scandinavia, America, at the airport, and in the cozy fictional town of Knuffingen, 250 computer-controlled vehicles are on the move. Special attractions are the fire runs, controlled by a sophisticated software. The fire brigades are constantly engaged in firefighting procedures, but the police are also busy tracking down traffic offenders. The newest attraction of the miniature wonderland is the Knuffingen Airport. After six years of development and a cost of three and a half million euro, the world's probably smallest commercial airport opened in May 2011. On 150 square meters, with more than 40 airplanes and the ground stuff that goes with it, it may be the world's most advanced flight simulation. From the technology hangar to the air terminal, every little detail has been faithfully recreated. Without a doubt, the attention to detail is at the heart of the layout. Over 200,000 figures show life in all its facets. It's a world where the law chases criminals and where some don't really care. Where the fire department puts out a large fire and a new fire starts not too far away. Funeral oration or celebration. Eat or be eaten. Travelers from this or another world. Imagination knows no bounds in the Wonderland. There are fire breathers, traveling animals, and surprisingly strong girls. In a world alternating between hectic and peaceful. Between wild animals and some that were already tamed. There are hunters and some just hunting for the best pictures. There are holy sanctuaries and some not quite so holy. There are people bursting with life, and some not so much. The Wonderland is absolutely diverse and unique. Travel from the highest mountain with over six meters, over dreamy streets to the Grand Canyon, snow-covered landscapes, through idyllic villages, to below the surface of the earth. In the miniature Wonderland, a day lasts 15 minutes. At dusk, over 300,000 LEDs ensure that the layout shines in a captivating light. Then, the nightlife of the various regions really becomes visible. And amidst all this, more hidden stories emerge at the push of a button. There are over 200 push-button actions spread across the edge of the layout, where the visitors can actively participate in various forms. For example, in a sweet way at the chocolate factory, or in the daily struggle with the pitfall of technology, or in the creation of life, or with a bit too much craftsmanship. The technology behind it all is monitored by human eyes from a control console and with the help of more than 40 computers. These are controlled by a complex self-developed software. The miniature Wonderland is internationally well known through more than 1,000 TV reports and the 260 people on the Wonderland team are never short on new ideas. Until 2020, there will be new sections covering France, Italy, England and parts of Africa and who knows what's next, but there's no end in sight. To convey this marvel in five minutes? Impossible. Just come by and see for yourself. You will be amazed.